Hello folks. I hope that you're having just a great day today and keeping yourself safe in our modern COVID world. Today I'm going to take a look at the next uh, the, of my Cthulhu Mythos Octobers. Uh, and today we're going to take a look at the Tales of the Cthulhu Mythos, um, uh, I'm sorry, Tales of the Lovecraft Mythos, rather, uh, collection that I've been going into uh, doing some, some stories here and there for you. And we're going to take a look at Two Arkham and the Stars by Fritz Lieber, which is one of the last collections in this. Um, it's set in Generation 2. Um, as a reminder, um, I call Generation I've Gone. I've done a video where I, where I go over my sort of descriptions of the generations. Generation 1 are the stories that are written uh, at the same time Lovecraft is alive. Uh, generation 2 are the stories that are written starting after he dies through roughly 1960. 1961, 1962, roughly through there. Um, and that's kind of August Derlis generation, uh, where he's kind of in control. Uh, generation 3 is the Lynn Carter generation that starts uh, in the early 60s uh, and runs through about 1980. And then Gen 4 is the modern generation of stories that's starting right around 1980 uh, and runs through today. So uh, those are my four generations in the, in the mythos. There's also Generation Zero for stories that were written pre-Lovecraft, pre-the mythos, that have been incorporated into the mythos, uh, or that read like their mythos but aren't. Um, and I also really enjoy those Gen Zero stories too. Um, so anyway, what we'll do today is we're going to take a look at t t uh, To Lovecraft and the Stars, um, which is a uh, very unique and, and it's, it's written with a, with a sort of a, 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 a style of a sort of a tongue-in-cheek style. It gives a strong overview of Miskatonic University, which was created by Lovecraft in his Cthulhu Mythos. And it will set a lot of the characters, um, a lot of the people from Miskatonic University will know each other. Um, and they'll talk about some of the various things that they had. It will, it will mention uh, the Dunwich Horror at the Mountains of Madness, both of which have uh, Miskatonic University uh, people, faculty, that are involved with them and so forth. Uh, you'll find out what happened to Lovecraft after he died. He didn't actually die, uh, and so forth. Um, it's a fun sort of a, a send up of the of the mythos, but it's also heavily, heavily influential. Uh, and the reason for that is because it's kind of it kind of it's kind of one of the first stories in the Cthulhu mythos to combine stories that Lovecraft wrote and put them together uh, in different ways. It all, and it also continues continues the story. It's also one of the first ones that's kind of set in Miskatonic University proper rather than using somebody from Miskatonic University. Uh, and so for that reason, there's a lot of stories that will follow that are set in Miskatonic University. I actually have a collection of stories <laughs> that's of, of shorts that's set in Miskatonic University. It happens all the time. Um, uh, and that will become one of the key settings in the mythos too. So uh, Lovecraft's, I'm sorry, I'm sorry Lovecraft's uh, stories are, are, are thus brought together by, by, by Fritz Lieber, who will also bring together uh, uh, this Cthulhu mythos, uh, uh, stalwart of Miskatonic University be, being sort of a central theme uh, of, uh, as a setting rather than as a, uh, a background or a resume for somebody who's in your story. Uh, for like one of your protagonists or something like that. So it, it becomes a much more important player in this as it's set in Miskatonic University uh, and so forth. And there you are. There's Star Coming from the Start. It's not that long. It probably took me 20 minutes to read it. I've read it probably three times now uh, and so forth. So I won't bore you with it too much. I'll go ahead and leave you there. Have you read To Arkham in the Stars by Fritz Lieber? Uh, what did you think of it? Did you agree or disagree with any of my thoughts? I think it's, you know, this is a guy who's written uh, a Hugo Award winner, Nebula Award winner. He's also written in a Cthulhu Mythos too. A lot of people don't realize that because they think of him as a fantasy writer, but he's written some horror too. Uh, he's also written, so he's also gotten Hugos for science fiction too. Uh, so this is a guy who's who's written all three of the genres uh, that my channel sort of dovetails in to fantasy, science fiction, and horror. So, I, and I think this story is very, 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 very well written. So have you read it? What did you think? Did you agree or disagree with anything that's in here? I'd be happy to engage you with it in the comments below. Or if you want to unpack uh, parts of the plot line, uh, the, the end with Lovecraft, what winds up happening to him, or anything like that, I'd be more than happy to do that with you in the comments below. I'll also link you to this collection if you want to check it out. Um, and so there you are. I'll go ahead and leave you to it. If you like this video, please feel encouraged. Hit that subscribe button. There's going to be so many more of these to follow. And finally, I want to thank you for taking some time out of your day and investing it in my video. We all have so many things happening in our days um, and, and so many things pulling us in so many different directions, right? So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling, and I really do appreciate that. So thanks again, and have a great day.